Hi, welcome back to Boomer Math. We are going to learn how to change a quadratic function from standard form to vertex form. So let's write the two forms out. Okay, standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Vertex form is y equals a, notice the a's are the same, times x minus h quantity squared plus k. So I have a perfect square in here where h and k is the vertex of my parabola and that's why it's called vertex form because I can actually identify my vertex from it. So here we are and we have uh, y equals negative 2x squared plus 14x minus 8 and I want to convert it to this other form. Well, the most important point on a parabola is the vertex. So I have a little formula, and it's negative b over 2 times a, and that will give me the x-coordinate of my vertex. So let's identify a and b. Let's see, a in this case is negative 2, and b is positive 14. So let's plug those in. The opposite of b is a negative 14 times 2 times a of negative 2. So that's going to give me, what, negative 14 over negative 4, which is 7 halves. Ooh, I got a fraction. That's all right, though. I know what, I know I can handle this. So now I'm going to take this x-coordinate, and I'm going to plug it back into the original function, and that's going to give me my y-coordinate. So let's see if we can handle our fractions. Negative 2 times 7 halves, all squared, plus... 14 times 7 halves, and notice I've plugged in 7 halves twice, in for both x's, and then minus 8. So let's clean this up. That's going to be give me negative 2 times 49 fourths. So negative 2 over 1 times 49 fourths, plus, let's see, 2 goes into 14 7 times, so that's going to give me plus 49 and then minus 8. Now we just got to do a little bit more cleaning up here. Okay, that's going to give me 4 goes into 2. Kind of cancel those out. And so I've got, what's that? Negative 49 halves plus 49 plus 8. Okay, now you can grab your handy dandy calculator or you could have actually put it in back here if you had wanted to. I'll uh, see, what's half of 49? That's going to give me 29 and a half, and it's negative, plus 49, plus 8, or actually minus 8, isn't it? That's a minus 8. So that's going to give me 41 I'm adding in the back. So negative 29 plus, or and a half, plus 41, that's going to give me, what, 11 and a half? So positive 11 and a half is my y coordinate. So let's go back and write that as an ordered pair. So my ordered pair would be, let's see, the vertex is at negative 7 halves, or no, that's positive 7 halves, and then positive 11.5. Now I've got one written as a fraction and a decimal, so we may want to make them all the same. Let's make them all decimals. Okay, I'm going to take those two and plug them into the vertex form where h is my x-coordinate, k is my y-coordinate to get my vertex form. So y equals a, what was our a? Hmm, what was our a? Our a is negative 2, so let's plug in negative 2, times x minus h, well that's 7 halves or 3 and a half, I'll write it as a decimal for now, plus k, well k is my y-coordinate, plus 11.5. And that is how you convert from standard to vertex. Now, will all of them be this messy with fractions? No. I actually have a second one over here that you might want to try. It's 3x squared plus 12x plus 7. And see if you can use your negative b over 2a to find, in this case, a pretty nice coordinate. I believe the x-coordinate is going to be negative 2. And then you can plug in negative 2 and find the y-coordinate. Hope this video was helpful on teaching you how to change forms.